going on everyone how you all doing i just want to uh, get this uh, special holiday movie review out for all you guys oh, i know it's kind of late but of course hope you guys are enjoying your festivities actually so uh um i, I believe i mentioned this in a previous video that i wanted to do a special holiday video i reviewed a ton of christmas movies before i believe uh, back on my channel a couple a little while ago where i looked at not just movies but also tv specials as well so uh so today, I'm going to give you guys an, a review of the Christmas Carol. I already looked at the George C. Scott version, but the one I, I'm i going to talk about is the most famous one, supposedly, and that is from the 1950s, starring Alistair Sim. And, of course, uh, now it's become a debatable topic is uh, which one is considered the best. Well, it's perfectly fair. Um, it's a classic that's going to get retold time and time again. There's so many different versions and so many different iterations. There's the silent era. There's ones in different languages. There's animated uh, cartoon versions. You know, even Disney did did ones, actually. So that's saying something, actually. But, uh, but, but, when, but the one that really sticks out in people's minds is the 1950s one. Because, um, for once, this one was... Actually, it was actually had commercial, somewhat commercial success because it was released in theaters. Actually, and um, another thing is that Alistair Sim portrayed this character to a T. Actually, um, and that's just saying something. Now, of course, there is a lot of noble, noticeable differences between the fifties one and the one I looked at, which was the George C. Scott version. Well, the one big difference was that the George C. Scott version was actually made for television, not to mention the un, the thirty year difference between them, because um, that one came out in the eighties. This was the fifties. Um, the effects were all differently then, but but the big thing was the story actually. Um, uh, so we all know the the story of Scrooge, okay? Um, Bear Miser, you know, on Christmas Eve, you know, um, he's visited by the spirit of his former partner, then warning him that he's going to be visited by three spirits. If he doesn't change his ways, he will end up just like him, actually. And of course, the same go goes truth for all the versions, but in the in this one, um, we're actually given a little more depth. Actually, I've seen different versions of this, but this one. Um, introduce me more to Scrooge. Actually, um, we understand that we're not Scrooge has a sister, and that she di and eventually dies. Actually, um, and, but they're both orphaned. Actually, um, he, uh, him trying to woo the love of his life, and of course, this one actually t t shows the story of how him and Jacob Marley met and became business partners. They went the distance to actually show the death of Jacob Marley, which is something special actually what where is that that never happened not even the george c scott version or any any of the other versions to my knowledge actually so this one really stands out and there's obviously the dialogue is is good um the story moves at the at a good pace actually and like um like alistair sim just uh, was able to take a role and just nail it perfectly like he like if the if the real life ebenezer scrooge was where and you know we're around this is what he would look like and alistair sim nailed this part perfectly actually and there's not much else i can say up with the up between the obvious differences and all that it's still an incredible movie i'd say if you've not seen the 50s one you gotta find it it's a true timeless classic um you can probably find it on Turner Classics. You can probably find it on AMC anywhere. You gotta see this movie, actually. So probably change your tune, you know, about which ones, which version of the movie is the, is the best, actually. But I will say I did enjoy the George C. Scott version because that one, like, like George C. Scott, actually wanted to stick more to the portrayal of the book rather than any anything else actually which he did um not to mention there um i mentioned this in a previous video was that the production team actually left left the fake epitaph that says ebenezer scrooge in shrewsbury england so that's a, that's another pretty cool thing that would that that stands out for that movie but but definitely the 50s one is a true classic it really tells you how great how well the story can be actually it's all there okay the formula is just all there so i definitely say Go watch it. I'm giving this movie a, you know what, screw it, 9 out of 10. All right? So that's us for today. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. And happy holidays.